Hey everybody, welcome to AMC Entertainment. My name is John Campy. I'm the senior editor of Script to Screen. And right now I am joined by uh, one of the members of the creative team of uh, Neville Dean and Taylor. They are the co-writers and directors of films such as Crank, Crank 2, and the recent Gerard Butler film Gamer. I am joined by Brian Taylor. Brian, how you doing? Great. Awesome. Now, Brian, what... One of the things you worked on recently is, uh, of course, most people know there's a, a new uh, fantasy sci-fi, you know, whatever kind of film you want to call it, based on a comic book called Jonah Hex. Um, and you are, uh, you're actually the screenwriters for that. A lot of people, unlike a lot of other comic book movies, a lot of people don't know anything about Jonah Hex or maybe you've even never heard of him. Tell us about this character, Jonah Hex. Right. Well, you know, comic book people know him. Um, but people outside that world, he's definitely not Spider-Man. Uh, and he, he doesn't have superpowers. So uh, he's not sort of like a, it's not a, a superhero movie. Um, what makes it a comic book movie, so to speak, instead of just a Western, is the nature of, of what this character is. And uh, it's a dark character. We wrote him as sort of a cross between maybe like Marv and Sin City meets... Charles Bukowski in the Old West. Right. With a little bit of Gregory House mixed in, maybe. I mean, it's an acerbic, uh, super dark, uh, um, very driven uh, character. He, in the comic books, there's been a lot of incarnations over the years. This character's been around since the 70s. They've made traditional Western versions. They've done sort of horror, you know, Western horror versions of Jonah Hex. They even did a version where he goes into the future and becomes like a sci-fi character. <laughs> that didn't really work so well. <laughs> but there's been a lot of versions of Jonah Hex. And, and one of the undercurrents always for the comics was there was this sort of like sense of the supernatural. Like he was a guy that, that walked with one foot in this world and one foot in the next, you know. And maybe he could communicate with ghosts and maybe he could communicate with spirits and... Maybe there were zombies, but maybe they weren't really zombies. You know, it was always it was just very cagey, and we try to approach it the same way with, you know, having these supernatural elements, but not, you know, it's not vampires and werewolves. It's very cagey. It's very like, is that real? Did that really happen? Um, and kind of keep it on an elevated uh, level, but but it's still a very grounded world of the sort of like post-apocalyptic uh, after the Civil War in America. What was it about Jonah Hex that attracted you to to want to write about him? Well, we always loved the idea of doing um, of doing a period piece anyway, uh, and especially something Civil War era, because it's just uh, it's just such an amazing um, it's just such an amazing time in American history. It's something we've sort of been drawn to. Uh, the whole it, it's hard to even imagine what the world was like. Uh, or what America was like after the Civil War. I mean, everybody was dead, and the people who weren't, you know, pretty much everybody in the country had post-traumatic stress disorder, like everybody. And so it's just sort of like this scarred, uh, destroyed world that people were walking through and trying to rebuild. So it just seemed like a great world to sort of bring our sensibility to anyway, um, and to elevate and, and make it and, and, and really exploit like how crazy it could be. Um, so when we saw that there were, there were a lot of ideas, uh, floated to us from Warner brothers of things that they might want us to adapt. And they wanted to know what we were interested in. And as soon as I heard the title Jonah Hex as a comic book geek growing up, you know, I immediately knew the character and I immediately saw the possibilities of, of what we could do with it. Now you and your partner, uh, Mark Neville you guys have done films like Crank, Crank 2, Gamer. You guys are very intense, but you guys are also very, unlike a lot of directors in Hollywood, you guys are very fan friendly, and you guys have just launched your new website, uh, uh, Taylor Neveldine, NevelldeanTaylor dot com. Which one is it? Which order is it? NevelldeanTaylor dot com. NevelldeanTaylor dot com. Right, and it's 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 really unlike any website for directors I've ever seen. What made you guys want to put this site together, and what are some of the key features of it? I've never seen any websites from other directors, so we really didn't have anything uh, to compare it to, but. You know, we are we we have always been sort of like very uh, open to communicating I mean, with all of our fans. I mean, we we love the fans. You know, we've gone on your show uh, in the past and and uh, you know talk to people live. It's just always something we like to do. We like to go to Comic Con. We like to go to the conventions. We like to shake people's hands. We like to talk to all the bloggers. It's just uh, it's kind of who we are. Like we're fans, so we feel kind of like it's a community. Um, so the you know the idea of the website is just to create an open line of communication. 
we see things all the time, whether it's photos or articles or um, uh, videos on YouTube and things like that that are just scattered all over the place, but they're so cool. There's so many interesting things that fans have done or that, there's so many things that we just wanted to put them all in one place so that if anybody's a fan of what we do, they can go to that website and they will find stuff that they haven't seen before that will, that will probably be like way cool. So, like with uh, with Jonah Hex getting ready to come out, and, and you know all that stuff, other stuff behind you. What lies in front of you for Brian Taylor and Mark Nevildeen right now? What's coming up? We there's so many things that are floating around on the burners right now that I really don't want to go out on a limb and pick one in particular and <laughs> right. see what's going to happen. There's about six projects right now that are all in their own way, like super exciting projects that we would love to do. Um, and we, but we just don't know what the next one's going to be. Um, probably within the next few months, we'll know, and 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 you'll be the first. Uh, you'll be the first to know. All right. Well, don't forget, folks. The website is nevildeentaylor.com. We'll have a link up here in the post. Brian, thanks so much for taking the time to join us today. Anytime. anytime. Have a have a good one, and we'll talk to you again soon. All right. Thanks.